Hi, I'm Miss Tama from the Youth Services Department at the Euclid Public Library, and I'm here today to show you how to do a collage. So you can use items that you find in your house. You can use calendar. You can use things that come in the mail. Or if you have magazines, you can use those as well. So I have some things already cut out. Here I've cut out some words and I have some pictures. And today I do have a poster board. If you don't have a poster board or a large sheet of paper, don't worry about it. You can use a cereal box or even a gift bag. So with a cereal box, what you're gonna do is flatten it. You try to find the edge where the glue is so you can just break it open. And then you have two rectangles you can cut. I have one already prepared here and your pieces will glue nicely onto this surface. Also, if you want to use a gift bag, you can. And you just follow the creases, you can cut that right along the lines that are already there for us. And make a nice colorful background and it's a nice way to reuse a gift bag. So we have our gift bag here, and I'm just going to cut the handle off, unless you want to leave it on, which you can. So then I've got glue, tape, glue stick, and today I'm going to use just the regular old glue. So you can decide how much of the background you want to show. Some people like to cover up the whole background, which is fine. If you want some of the color or if it's just a, a white background to peek through, that's fine as well. Um, let me see here. I think I had a really cute picture I wanted to use. So I'm gonna use this little dog as my little centerpiece and then I'm gonna add some other little designs along the side once I get this on here. So, you know a little bit of glue goes a long way, so you don't have to use a ton of glue, but you do want to secure your pictures onto your surface. Got that there. And let's see, I have some other little pictures here of dogs that I'm just gonna put around this dog. I did cut most of these from a calendar. have some other little pictures here too though. Okay, and there's my quick little collage. Also, I did one earlier on the cereal box um, cardboard backing and I filled that one up a lot more. So you can really have fun with this, make it look however you like, make it colorful, use words, don't use words. You're in total control of your project here. Hope everybody is staying safe and have a nice day. Mm -hmm.